me and my coworker got talking today and something came up that I didn't really think about when my dad mentioned it to me. He's worked in the agriculture industry for over 40 years. This year, farmers are being offered 1.5 times the value of their crops to destroy them. They're also being told by the federal government they will not receive subsidies for farming if they refuse to destroy their crops. What does that mean? That means that the farmer cannot afford to provide you with food based upon the taxes the government is levying on him if the government doesn't in turn give him back his tax money to provide you with food. Kind of a fucked up system, but that's how it works. And, well, they're not going to subsidize them if they don't destroy the crops. They'll pay them more than what it's worth, and they want them to destroy it, and they'll still get their subsidies. They're trying to create a food shortage. We've got eight months to get our own food supply. We're, we're probably going to be facing mass starvation. Is it true that the government is paying farmers to destroy their crops? And the simple answer to that is... Yes, they are. I initially heard about the government paying farmers to destroy their crops. I thought it was a load of bullshit. Well, lo and behold, we received our destruction notice the other day. So basically, there was two options on how to destroy the crop. The government could fly on Agent Orange, or we could manually destroy the crop ourselves. But we put too much blood, sweat, and tears in it to let them destroy it, so we decided to manually do it ourselves. Basically, it said if we used a lawnmower to destroy the crop, we could receive an extra $600 an acre. Something about the low carbon footprint or something. So, that's what we're doing. I got my letter yesterday. Um, the letter asking you to destroy some crop. Along with a letter, I had to sign for a certified package, um, which included these these two uh, binders, and then of course this three-ring binder on how to properly dispose of your crops. And as you can tell, it's on government paper. And as you can tell, um, this here is the affected area in my section of the county, um, closest town. And of course, you can't run away where you, you live. So from the county tracks, then they break it down into these individual farm tracks that you have to destroy. And you can see the the crop or the field suck. As long as we're together, it don't matter where. This is the second machine that I dropped off here for the local farmers. Just want to show you a little bit of each drum. You got four of these drums, two on each side. Now you can imagine the damage they can do, not counting the blade which you can set down. So this will be the first field that we take care of. So what we're going to do is mash everything into the ground. And then I'm going to go pick up some steel plates, lay them across the road, road plates, so we can get the machines over there, start on that farm. So the farmers got paid by the government. I don't understand what it's all about, but they got paid. Now they hired us to come in here and just destroy whatever we can. I don't understand how it all works, but we're already paid for a certain amount of time. You can hear the first machine already running out there. But when you hear them farmers saying they're getting paid to destroy everything, they ain't bullshitting y'all. Y'all better start paying attention. Well, what you saw right there ought to concern you. I was doing exactly what I was told via a letter I got last night in the mail from the Department of Hydrocarbons. They said in order to stabilize oil prices, they need a bunch of oil just dumped. And not dumped on the market, just dumped on lease roads and field roads and things like that so i'm hooked up to that oil tank going straight into my truck to get rid of it well i'm gonna get fined if i don't get rid of it they said so that prompted me to call district selectman tony deloge and, and ask him about this letter he said he didn't know much about it but he would suggest that i follow whatever it says so here we go You know, these are some serious times right now. Since January, oil prices have been through the roof. I'm seeing more and more farmers on TikTok saying that the government's paying them to kill their fields. Agent Orange, I saw a guy with a lawnmower mowing down beans, getting paid to do it. Uh, they're controlling food. Now they're going to control energy. I, I don't understand why this is going on. But I tell you what, if they control food and they control energy, what freedom do you have left? Man, it missed something. I'm sorry about the music, I'm going to recap. This is the container that was in the video yesterday and we have unloaded the container. Freight is setting at ports. It is not moving and we're talking ports around the world. Now the freight that was on this container was shipped 37 days ago. This is that freight behind me. Somebody is intentionally hindering freight from moving back and forth there are ports that are stacked 
The directive is let it set. Let it set. I reached out to my largest customer, this customer, and that's what I was told. That the directive is let it set. We are definitely going to experience shortages, the likes of which you have never seen. They're trying to keep me quiet. I need you guys to blow this up and stop scrolling. Control the food supply, control the people. This is what's happening. This is the truth. As a fourth generation farmer, I am hearing cries across the United States. The Biden administration introduced the 3030 bill saying that it is a climate change bill, a conservation bill. But if you look deeper and if you really research what they're trying to do, Nebraska, it is disgusting. Why the hell does the government want 1.16 million acres in Nebraska? Because 97% of Nebraska is privately owned, so they're taking from farmers and ranchers and hardworking Americans. And by 2030, they want to take 680 million acres across the United States, kill family farms, control the food supply, control the people. Are you guys ready to stand up? So one of the things we're going to be talking about this week is the apparent fresh food shortage that's going to hit Europe and the UK um, over the next few weeks and months. Um, this has been completely orchestrated and it's absolutely terrible that this is likely to be happening right now. There is plenty of fresh food being grown at the moment all over Europe. We have no shortages. Farmers have no shortages. Despite the weather changes that we've been having recently. Um, there is an awful lot of fresh produce in the fields at the moment, as you can see behind me. This is purposely going to be bought in bulk and destroyed to create an apparent food shortage. Folks, start listening. Wake up. There is no food shortage. Yo, excuse my sexiness. I have some breaking news. So... Right now, the federal government is offering farmers 1.5 times the amount that their crops are worth to destroy them. I know it sounds crazy, but just look it up. Don't use Google because they filter your searches. Use DuckDuckGo and you'll be able to find reliable information about this. Um, anyway, and if the farmers refuse to do this, then that same government will refuse to give them subsidies. I truly believe they're creating a food shortage, or they're going to. Can't prove it. Just look into what I'm saying. Make up your own mind. But just to err on the side of caution, get some food. Dried food. Get water. Be prepared. Even if it's not going to happen, shit's getting weird.